Welcome to WCF Checklist. In the previous webcast, we have seen the Internet Unsecure Client and Service where we used basic HTTP binding where we didn't apply any message and transfer security. But in this top, uh, today's topic, we'll be using the same basic HTTP binding and we'll be providing a message security using the certificates. If you haven't seen how to create a certificate and how to use a certificate, you need to go back and you have to see my the certificate video. Because in this video, we'll be dealing with the certificate. And as you can see, my MMC is right open and I got my certificates right under personal certificates I got my client certificate I got my server certificates because as a demo I'm the client and I'm the server on the same machine right <coughs> so these two certificates need to be present you can watch that video and you can learn from that right so let's get back <coughs> to the topic so let's do it so as you can see I have a client and I have a service right and let's go one by one if you look at my service it looks pretty stupid because I got one service contract I got one operation contract and operation is very simple what it does is it takes a string and it gives you back a string right so let's look at uh, the implementation as I said you give me <coughs> and I return you back right so the value whatever you are return I mean giving me I'm returning simply back so that's service that's it the service part is done now let's the important part is to browse the service and check if it is working fine so as you can see the service is up and running at my virtual port right all right now let's go to the important part of the of this topic where we configure our whole service right that is called as web.config right let me get some more space configuration config section system.web and we'll jump into the system.service model right so over here you can see uh, one second yes you can see when you add a service by default Visual Studio gives you this default configuration in terms of WS HTTP binding right but over here we are dealing with basic HTTP binding and message security right so first thing we need to look at our ABC the address which is empty right then we have the binding which is basic HTTP binding and the contract I my service which I shown you already right let's skip the other part and let's go to the binding section where we going to configure our service I mean binding to apply a security so we are using a binding section which we are configuring the basic H3 binding we are providing a name and we are saying boss that I'm going to use uh, security as a message security and the message client credential type would be a certificate right so through certificate the whole encryption mechanism is going to work right and I've shown you my certificates now this guy is a binding configuration it should go up there I mean right here one second if you click here contract binding configuration so this is my configuration and this is the guy right so I'm telling hey I'm using the basic HD binding and I'm using the message security and my client connection live is blah 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 right so this part is done you have configured the binding correctly but we need to configure the behavior as well then behavior we need to notify the service okay boss I am the service so here's my credentials what I'm gonna do is I'm, I have a certificate uh, which is located in my local machine and you can find that certificate by subject name and its value is temp search server this is the temp search server and this is located in my so in personal you can say this is my you can find that certificate under that right so this is a behavior we which you need to provide in the service behavior at the time of uh, what can I say uh, configuring your service right so this is this part is done pretty clearly right <coughs> okay so service is done and now let's go to and we browse the service as well now go to the proxy proxy we simply consume a proxy right we say configure a service this is my service right nothing change nothing spectacular 
then you go to the app.config and you look at the proxy generated right and you can see you are using the basic HTTP binding and inside of this binding our security mode is message transfer security is none right and you can see the client credential type in case of message security is certificate now what extra part I have done over here is when I consume my proxy I mean sorry when I consume my service I got this part by default this much section I got by default right but I added this part I'm sorry I forgot to show you in web.config there was a part called as identity it shows that we will be authenticating by an uh, certificate so identity generally DNS value is localhost but we are providing a name of a certificate which I showed you over here right so when you say app.config generate uh, the uh, client side you need to tell at the client side as well my DNS value is my certificate as well right so this is an add-on which you need to add from your end and this behavior also you need to add from your end because at the client end you need to tell I mean while invoking your methods and operation you need to provide your client certificate that find this certificate temp client this is a local machine right so everything is on my machine so at the time of configuration you have to configure accordingly and this x059 is fine by subject local machine so you have a client certificate right then you need to provide a service certificate that what service certificate you're using at the client end same thing everything is same only the name of the certificate changes and over here we need to provide a default certificate right so if this happens everything is alright then this behavior has a name called as custom behavior which you need to put in here which I haven't done yet yes I have done so you have to put this over here right so once you do that and let's run if I run this thing the client once I run this thing it is going to work as expected in a very good way I'm sorry this was supposed to be a message security I need to change the message one second hi from the basic agent with message security message security control shift build let's run one more time and as you can see the expected output right now the problem is I'll show you the by default what do you get when you I mean um, consume a service you don't get this this behavior section does not come control KC I'm just commenting out alright this is this won't you get you have to do it by yourself I don't know about 4.0 4.5 they are doing that for you or not again I'm going to comment this guy as well control X and I'll paste somewhere alright so I'll paste over here control V anyways we can put that out and this is not given to you again right control shift build and now when you run when you run it starts giving you error messages one second it starts giving you error messages which says the client certificate is not provided right so what you do is you start putting the client certificate for which you need to enable this guy this behavior configuration control KU so this guy client certificate gets enabled you are telling okay my certificate is present at this location now let's disable this guy control what control I said KC control shift build let's run again and if I run this time again I get the error now this guy says you're not providing clients client certificate credentials one second have I commented the wrong thing no client certificate I'm sorry I need to enable this guy control KU um, alright so let's run and this time again it tells me client certificate is not provided on the other ah oh, okay 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 I made a mistake in the app dot configuration file over here I forgot this line you see control X I made a little mistake 
I'm gonna hide this guy, I'm gonna hide this guy as well. Control KC. Let's build. So right now I'm just exposing uh, client credentials, right? So now it is telling me the service uh, service certificate is not provided. So let's do that. Let's go to the app.config. So you can see the debugging, and I mean the Microsoft provides you a good exception message like what is missing, what is wrong. All right. So now again you're gonna get the error, but this error is pretty interesting now it is telling identity check field for the I mean you can read it it is expecting the identity tag should be a temp server search server which is not there so stop it go to the app.config file and re-enable this guy once you re-enable this guy control shift build and run one more time and now you should get a perfect output as expected so these are the chances where you get the error while dealing with the message security with certificates. If you get any kind of this error, you need to fix it by yourself by looking at this. You need to provide a client credentials or right, in the behavior. You need to provide a client certificate. You need to provide a service certificate and you need to provide an identity. In case of WSHD binding, you don't require this. The identity itself will give you a thumbprint which I'll be covering in the next video when I'll get time. Um, uh, so that would be all for today. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.